frankly feel that the men that are available to us, and I'm talking about across the color spectrum, across the age spectrum, trust me, I've done them all. Um, they are not positioned to protect nor provide because of some of the statistics we just talked about. They're not earning the incomes. They're not having the resources. And some of them are not even showing up in the leadership. Would you date a bus driver? You. Would you date If he owns the bus. Hello. Welcome to Reactions and Reviews. I'm your humble host, Eze. Thank you. And I hope you enjoy the show. Shout out to our brother, Aaron2424, for sending today's clip. Uh, you said that women are being trained to be men in skirts. Um, yeah. I will acknowledge, I will I will say I was triggered. I was a hit dog and I hollered to, to the entire production team to, to get you here today. But I'm 40 in, in, in September. So, you know, I've, I've, I've had some some relationships and I've yet to find a man who has shown up. And this includes even my father who was absent. I've yet to have a male energy that provided or protected me consistently ever. Mm -hmm. So I think that mm -hmm. I have taken on the reins to protect and provide for myself. Women in general, they, they, they don't want to hear. They think their way is right. And you know, I'm crazy when I say sit down, shut up and listen and you can create what you want. They don't want to hear that. How long were you with him before quarantine? Almost four years. Did you live with him at the time of quarantine? I'll tell you what happened. He actually did not quarantine with me. He's He has three children, two of which are young adults, and he chose to quarantine in New Jersey with his semi-adult children. And for me, listen, I'm not a parent yet, so I'm not, I get that they're number one. Right. But I need to be number one, Wendy. She broke up with her fiance because fiance spent his quarantine with his kids. So she broke off their engagement. This is Ebony K. Williams. And who is she? Ebony K. Williams is an American lawyer and a television host. She co-hosts the late night talk show State of Culture on Revolt TV. She co-hosted a talk show on WABC Radio in New York City and was a co-host of Fox News 2017 show, Fox News Specialists. And we know how these black career women, we know what they think of black men. We know how they feel about black men. She is the typical, independent, strong, I would never submit to a man type of woman. Single motherhood. Mm -hmm. Now, um, I feel like you've spoken about this before, so I know it's something you wanted to do. I have to credit uh, all of you ladies at this table because one of the first times I was on as a guest host, remember, Sunny, one of the hot yeah. topics we talked about was the an uh, anonymous nature of sperm donors. Mm -hmm. Turns out I now have a known donor. I went through California Cryo Bank, fantastic experience. And at 18, my future child, God willing, will be able to know the name, identity, yeah. and last known location of their father. Wow. Because yeah. you reunited you. with your- Correct, correct. Yeah. I was able to track him down through Ancestry.com. Yeah. If you made it this far, hit that like button and leave a comment to trigger YouTube's algorithm. I'm a new channel and I'm trying to grow. So hit that subscribe button and hit that bell to let you know every time I upload a new video. So why? Why was I at my big age, esteemed education level and deep cultural consciousness still choosing to chemically straighten my hair? Well, first and foremost, because I'm a free black woman in America. And that means I get to do exactly what I want to do with my hair. Now, I'm also somebody that enjoys box braids, faux locks, and a litany of other styles. But I most often prefer to wear my hair just like you see it tonight. Straight with the loose wave. Now, I choose this style because I like the way it looks on me. It's not for everybody, but I like it. And because we are culturally competent, we know that white folks do not own the straight hair aesthetic. We know that our gorgeous and glorious foremothers have chosen at times to straighten their hair since the dawn of civilization. Bullshit. Bullshit. Africans did not wear their hair like that. This came into existence due to the Hollywood push to make the world believe that beauty standard is white women that white women were the beauty standards. That's when a lot of sisters started bleaching their skin, started straightening their hair. When we talk, and I know that you've said that you cannot teach a man or tell a man how to be a man. So I will not ask you to indict men in this question. But I do want you to speak, Ayanla, to 
how women need to, uh, I don't know, position ourselves so that we can be in our divinity, so we can have our crowns right, how we can create and not build. When some of us, quite frankly, feel that the men that are available to us, and I'm talking about across the color spectrum, across the age spectrum, trust me, I've done them all, um, they are not positioned to protect nor provide because of some of the statistics we just talked about. They're not earning the incomes. They're not having the resources. And some of them are not even showing up in the leadership. Would you date a bus driver? You. Would you date if a bus driver? If he owns the bus. If he owns no. it. If he owns the bus. See, that's owns. a problem. That's a problem. That's a problem. Because the standards and requisites, and I'm not talking about him laying on his sofa playing video games all day. <laughs> I'm not talking about mm -hmm. that. But the standards and the criteria that we use to measure men is off for who mm. we are as women and who they are in this society. I would date a bus driver mm. if he was, if he loved driving the bus, if he was a man of integrity, if he was good to his mama, if he treated me well, I would date a bus driver. What's the end result? She is still alone. No man, no fiance, no husband. To where now, the only way she can be a mother is to go to a sperm bank. That is the only way she would be a mother. You understand what I'm saying? No man, especially on the level that she wants, none of those guys will tolerate her bullshit. And this video is not to judge her or to pass judgment or whatever, only to show you 17% of women that watch my content. This is exactly why men has checked out in America. Men no longer wants to date women in America. This is why women like her for you 17% of women that watch my content, you don't have to tell a real man how to treat you if you possess the things that men want. If you want a masculine man that knows his duty as a man, you first have to be a woman. And what does that mean? That means you have to be feminine. You have to be respectful. You have to be about family. You have to be about building together. A man has no problem and he will provide for a woman that he sees is wife material. If a man is not providing for you, that means you, my dear sister, you are not wife material. Go work on yourself. Okay? Anyway, guys, what do you guys think? Do you agree or do you disagree? Either way, leave your comment below. So... We can start this conversation. Now we wrap it up for today's episode. And thank you for joining me. So please, leave a comment uh, below. If you agree, if you disagree, it doesn't matter. Leave the comment below. And also, you tell me what you want me to cover. You tell me what you want me to discuss and what you want me to react to. Okay? And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for joining me. And I'll see you on the next episode. Please don't forget to subscribe. Let's rebuild the black nuclear family. It is needed. Okay? God bless.